In this video, we will explore the genetics of Central Russians. I gathered nine genomes from the Reich Lab's Human Origins dataset and converted the samples into microarray format. Three samples are from the town of Kashin in Tver Oblast, three samples are from Maloga in Yaroslavl Oblast, and additional three samples are from the town of Bokov in Oryal Oblast. Then, I ran those samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. QBM analysis of these Russians reveals that they are similar to other Europeans genetically. Just as in other Europeans, the dominant ancestry component in these Central Russians is Anatolian Neolithic farmer. Here are the averages of three models I've made for these Central Russians using Kashin, Oriol, and Maloga samples as targets. And here are the results of G25 analysis of these samples. The three Kashin samples are closest to various southern and central Russians, but Ukrainians show up among the closest populations as well. The Maloga samples appear to be more northern shifted, clustering with western Russians, Balts, and Belarusians, and further from Ukrainians. The Oryal samples, on the other hand, appear to be very southern shifted, clustering closest to northern Ukrainians. Keep in mind these G25 coordinates are simulated by me using the Eurogenes K36 calculator. QBM analysis of these Central Russians reveals they are of mostly Slavic origin with just minor Uralic contributions. Out of these Central Russian populations, the Maloga samples are the least Slavic and the Oryal samples most Slavic, with the Kashin samples occupying an intermediate position. Anyway, let's get into their trait predictor results. The files were extremely low coverage in the Herc 2 region so I had to use Snipper 3 for eye color predictions as 1 OCA2 SNP present in these samples was also present in the Snipper 3 eye color calculator. Here's their average predicted phenotype. The most common predicted phenotype was Ponted and Gorid, both of which are common Eastern European phenotypes. Nordid and Balted were also present. Four samples were predicted to have blue eyes by Snipper 3 and three were predicted to have brown eyes. Most samples had brown hair, but two samples were predicted to have black hair. No sample received a blonde hair prediction. Skin colors were evenly split between white and olive. The most common hair texture prediction was wavy, but curly and straight hair were also present. Most samples received a Greek nose shape prediction and higher than average odds of baldness. Most samples had higher odds of autism, and surprisingly none of the samples carried any risk variants for bipolar in the ADCY2 gene. ADCY2 is one of the most impactful genes in the development of bipolar disorder and various psychotic disorders. Most samples carried risk variants for colorblindness. The Russians had high predisposition to atrial fibrillation, average predisposition to a wide range of cardiovascular diseases, higher levels of bad LDL cholesterol, and lower levels of good HDL cholesterol. The Russians had low odds of unipolar depression, low odds of bipolar disorder type 1, and an overall high predisposition to Alzheimer's disease. The Russians had average odds of type 2 diabetes, high odds of hemoglobin E disease, high odds of type 1 diabetes, which is an autoimmune condition very prevalent in Europe, and surprisingly low odds of multiple sclerosis, which is in another northern European autoimmune disease. Most Russians carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in JA K2 and most Russians had a strong predisposition to testicular cancer based on KITLG genotypes. Most Russians also had high risk for allergies. Russians had a predisposition to higher levels of vitamin D, longer telomere lengths, and only one sample carried a risk variant for hemochromatosis in the HFE gene. Thank you for watching this video until the end. In the description, you can find the links to purchase these raw DNA files, but also Andradna products and services, which include QBDM modeling, FST analysis, VCF conversion, and much more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.